Are you looking for the next craft beer to try? Well, maybe Fudge Sickle from Untitled Art is the one for you. Welcome back, everybody. So today we are going to try Fudge Sickle, Fudge Sickle Imperial Stout from Untitled Art. Uh, we've been getting a lot of more of the untitled art uh, beers around, I believe. I think this is my first one from them. So this is an Imperial Stout, 12 fluid ounces, 12% ABV. Uh, contains lactose natural flavors. Um, date on this is 4-12-19. This is into December, middle of December. So let's go ahead and open it, get it into uh, this glass and see what we think. They, whoa. They, um, I did pick this up at Hoffman Street Grocery. As far as I know, they just got this in. So I'm actually surprised uh, by the date on the can being so old. Uh, hopefully we don't go over, but if we do, that's what we got paper towel for. <clears throat> yeah, it's, uh, cool artwork. It looks like it's it's fudge with lights behind it. Like they smeared, like they took a piece of glass and smeared the fudge on there, and the lights are coming through. I don't know if it's ice. It's not a fudge sickle. You know, like you would get at the store it doesn't look like it. it looks like there's lights oh well we're going to talk more about the can than the beer okay so uh we do have a uh a chocolate colored head it looks like it's starting to get the peaks and valleys in there already from this glass coming up obviously it's not gonna be the same i do have a two finger of head bubbles on the side are compact like dish soap color color is black all the way down um, this one doesn't have the teardrop like my bells, but it, from what I can see, it is a hundred percent black. Let's go ahead and smell, see what we get. Ooh. It smells like a, a sweet baked chocolate chip cookie. Uh, like you're getting that fudge, that sweet fudge in there, but then you've got the background of that stout with that roasted malt. That's almost like a, it's got like vanilla lactose uh, mixed in with it. And yeah, that smells good. It's like a, a nice sweet chocolate, almost probably like a fudge sickle, like you would pick up and after it gets a little bit warm and you smell it, that, that fudge, that sweet fudge comes through, that's what you're getting. But I think it's it's got that backbone of like a cookie. It's not coming off as like a bread, but that roasted malt, like roasted grain lets you know it's there. Yeah, very good. Let's go ahead and taste. I don't smell any alcohol either for 12%. That's dangerous. Um... Don't take this the wrong way. It seems like that lactose is way overdone. Like there's a ton of lactose and it's not really coming across as like a vanilla like it usually does. It's like there's so much lactose and it's sweet and then you've got this big chocolate coming in that's sweet. It's almost like it's way overdone. But it's so good. Like, it's almost, I don't know what kind of chocolate they're using in this, but it's like they use so much, like you really don't get that dark roasted malt that you usually get out of an Imperial Stout. Like, that is not there. 
at all. Even in the aftertaste, it's more of like a, a creamy, almost like a sweet fudge sickle that is all chocolate. Uh, that that lactose, I think, like I keep saying, I think it's overdone a little too much. Like they 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 were trying to cover up all that roasted malt that they're using, and they just went a little overboard with it because it's got I don't want to say like metallic taste, but it's just it just seems like it's it's overdone in lactose, or it's the sweetness from. I doubt they're, I don't think they're using cocoa nibs in this. Um, may, maybe it's it's a flavoring and it's the flavoring that's coming off like that. The combination of the lactose and the flavoring. It's thick, very smooth. You get that chocolate, you get that lactose. Somebody could say there it is a little vanilla-ish, chocolate vanilla in the aftertaste. This, this is dangerous because you can't taste that alcohol at all. I mean, it's almost... Like if you took, it's not Hershey syrup. It's it's a it seems like it's a better quality than Hershey syrup. But if you took a little Hershey syrup and even less milk and mixed it up, so it was still kind of syrupy. That's kind of the consistency it has. Like it drinks thicker than chocolate milk. But yeah. Um, I would probably have to go with a 4.5 out of 5 on this one. I'm not sure the price because uh, I had to have her take it out of a 4-pack. Um, I think this is worth it even though... Now, could I drink 4 or 5 of them? I don't think so. But uh, I think it's well done. Definitely one if you're a dessert stout fan to pick up and try. So let's check untapped. Um, 10 of my friends have had it, average 4.38 out of 5. Uh, almost 7,000 people have checked it in, average 4.22 out of 5. Okay, now this is weird. Um, Imperial Stout Brewed with Hershey Syrup. Madagascar and something cocoa beans from Nashville. And contains lactose and vanilla. So there, you, so maybe it's just because I pick that lactose up as vanilla most of the time. That maybe just the combination of the two is sending through my mind that it's overdone. Sweet chocolate. Um, Christian said... Uh, tastes like its name. It's actually pretty good and not overly sweet. And that is a thing. It's not overly done. It's just, I think, the lactose. Uh, very fudge slash dark chocolate based. Not too thin. So, yes, I need to pick up some more from them. Um, this one, I it lives up. I just wish it was toned down in that vanilla lactose like I've been crying about the whole entire video. So, um, yeah. Definitely one to pick up. So if you like this video, thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you know when new videos are coming out. And until next time, happy brewing.